Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into an exciting new features introduced in C 13 and .NET 9, the new escape sequence. If you have ever struggled with using escape sequences like backslash u 001b or class x 1b, so stick around because this new syntax will make your life a lot easier. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. C sharp 13 new escape sequence say goodbye to older escape sequences like backslash u001b and backslash x1b. So first of all, let's quickly understand what an escape sequence is. In programming, escape sequences are special characters used to perform actions that can't be represented directly in a string. For example, let's say if you want to change text color or format, we cannot do directly. Here, escape sequence comes into the picture and easily change the text color or format. It's often used in terminal application. So, console application is one type of terminal application. Before C sharp 13, we had two main ways to represent the escape character. That's what I have written over here, old method for escape sequences. So number one, backslash u001b. So it's a representation in the Unicode format. Okay. Second, we have backslash x1b. It's a representation in the hexadecimal format. While both methods work, they can sometimes lead to confusion. So that's what I have written over here. Problem with old methods for escape sequences. Number one, ambiguity with the hexadecimal. So when we are going to use hexadecimal escape sequences, there is a possibility if we add extra valid hexadecimal digits accidentally after 1b, like x1b, I have added 1, 2, 3 at the last accidentally. So what will happen? The escape sequence will read those digits as part of the sequence. So this can unintentionally create a different escape sequences leading to unexpected behavior or bugs in your. That's what I have written this example over here so that you can understand it. What is the problem we are going to face when we are going to use this hexadecimal? Okay, number two is the less readable. You are seeing that whenever we are going to use this older method of the escape sequences, it's less readable. One more thing is developer needs to remember the specific Unicode or hex value, making the code more cryptic, especially for those unfamiliar with the escape sequence. Now we are going to talk about the new escape sequence, which is introduced in C sharp 13 and .NET 9, which is nothing but backslash E. So now you see that we have a simpler and clear way to represent the escape sequence, right? And this makes our code more readable, less prone to errors. So that's what. What are the benefits we are going to get it when we are going to use this new escape sequence? For one, reduced errors. So there will be less chance of mixing up hex digits, right? That we were facing issue when we are going to use this hexadecimal escape sequence in the older format, right? Second one is the readability. It's easier to understand what our code is doing at a glance. Number three, cleaner code. It makes our code base more modern and easier to maintain. And it's much cleaner, right? Okay, so let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio 2022 of preview mode that supports C Sharp 13 and .NET 9. So here, what we are going to do, we are going to see the demo of C Sharp 13 new escape sequence. More specifically, I will demonstrate comparing the old methods of escape sequences to the new one. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created one console application named C Sharp new escape sequence demo that has program.cs file. Program.cs file, first of all, I have added necessary namespace space like using system. Here we have one class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application. So first of all, I am just printing this statement into console window. What I am printing? Demo of C Sharp 13's new escape sheet. So here, first of all, what I am doing? I am using before C Sharp 13 available escape sequences. Okay, how we usually use it, right? So first statement I have written a string escape with Unicode and I have written this one backslash U001B opening big bracket. 31 am this is red text and then i have written in parenthesis before c sharp 13 and then again i have written escape sequence like backslash u 001 b and then i have written big bracket 0 am so what this statement does it defines a string variable named escape with unicode and here if you notice i have written this unicode representation for the escape sequence and after that i have written 31 amp so basically this is nothing but an nc escape code that changes the text color to red and at the last if you notice again i have written this unicode representation of the escape character and after that i have written 0 amp right 
So basically, this one, what it will do, it will reset the text color back to the default. Okay, so that's what this statement is going to perform. Next, we have written a string escape with hex, and I have assigned this value. What value I have assigned? I have written hexadecimal format escape sequences. That's what I have written backslash x1b and then big bracket 32m. This is green text, and I have written before C sharp 13 in the parenthesis, and then at the last, I have written backslash x1b and then big bracket 0m. So, similar to the first line, here I have used hexadecimal representation of the escape sequence. And here I have mentioned 32M. So, 32M changes the text color to green. And again, at the last, I have reset it. That's what this second statement is doing. Okay. Now, I have written this statement with the help of newly introduced escape sequence. That's what I have written backslash E. And again, I have written big bracket 34M. And this is the blue text after C sharp 13, I have written in parentheses and at the end again i have written the newly introduced escape sequence which is nothing but the backslash e and big bracket 0 m so here 34 m basically what it does it change the text color to blue and at the last what we are doing we are just resetting it back to the default color so that's what this statement is going to perform okay and finally what i'm doing i'm just outputting the results into the console window that's what i have written console dot right line escape with unicode escape with hacks and escape with new syntax which is introduced in the c sharp 13 in .NET 9, right? And then finally, I have issued console.readline state. So, as a result, what we will be seeing, we will be seeing three lines of text in different colors. First, with the red, second one is the green, and the third one is the blue color, respectively. Okay, so let me go and execute this program and show this output to you. Okay, so output got appear into this console window. If you see, demo of C sharp 13 new escape sequence got printed, the first statement got printed into the red color. This is red text before C sharp 13. Second statement got printed into the green color. This is green text before C sharp 13. And the last one got printed into blue color. This is blue text after C sharp 13. The color got changed with the help of NC escape code that we have used. So, with the Unicode representation of the escape format I have used for the first statement and along with that I have used this NC escape code which is nothing but the 31M that's responsible for converting to the text into the red color. That's what. With the combination of this, this statement got printed in the red color. Similarly, I have used this hexadecimal format of the escape sequences along with the NC escape code and here I have used the 32M. So, 32M basically responsible for, for converting the text into the green color. That's what this statement got printed into the green color. And finally, we have used newly introduced escape sequences in C sharp 13 and .NET 9. And here also I have used this NC escape code, which is nothing but the 34M. And it is responsible for converting to the color into the blue color. That's what this statement got printed into the blue. This is blue text after C sharp 13. So, as a result, we have seen that all three lines of the text got printed into different colors, which is red, green and blue respectively. Right. Please note that the color changes are dependent on your terminal or console supports for NC escape codes. Here, our system is supporting and that's what this statement got printed into the different color. Okay, so that's how we use the escape sequences, whether it's a new or whether it's an old one, right? Okay, that brings me to end of my session today. To sum up, we explored the concept of escape sequences and compared the traditional methods of using them with the new approach, which is introduced in C sharp 13. We demonstrated here both the old and the new ways. And I hope you have realized how much cleaner, easier and more error-free the new method is. So this enhancement truly makes a developer's life so much easier. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.